Something that I'm excited about this humidifier is that it actually covers an area of 325 square feet, which is a pretty large size room. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so I can show you everything that it comes with. Okay, just took this out of the package and this is what it looks like. This is everything that it comes with minus the user manual. You can see it looks really nice and easy to operate, which is a huge plus for me. So when you turn this knob, you can start out at low and go all the way up to high, which is nice. And this light right here is gonna change colors when it runs out of water. Something that I do really like about this humidifier is that we've had a lot of them in the past and they're all bottom loaders. So you basically have to take this, flip it upside down, fill it with water, and then you have to flip it back over. And I just feel like it always ends up making a little bit of a mess. So this one is actually a top loading humidifier. So you just take off the lid, you can pour your water in this vessel right here, or you can take this off and go fill it up over a sink and then place it right back into place. You're not gonna put water right here. This is where the mist comes out, but you fill it up in the vessel right around it. And something else I like about this lid is that you can actually rotate these nozzles 360 degrees. So if you wanted the mist to be spouting out both to the left and to the right, you could do that or you can have um, most of your mist pointing towards maybe wherever it is you're going to be sitting or sleeping. And probably my favorite thing about this is how easy it is going to be to know when it needs to be cleaned or to just see how clean this is from the outside just because the entire thing is nice and clear. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with water so I can show you how it works. I have this all ready to go. I have it plugged in. You can see when I turn it on, there's no water in it, that this little light is red down here. But I'm gonna turn this off and add some water. I have four cups of water in this pitcher. And this can definitely hold way more water than that, but I'm just gonna start it with that much. Okay, you can see this light is green, showing that there is water in here. Okay, I'm gonna put it up to the highest mist level so that we can see kind of what that looks like. And you can see I can direct that mist. So I'm not sure if you can see the mist, but there's quite a bit of mist coming out the top of here, so it's really nice. I have to say this is really nice and quiet and I absolutely love that I don't need to worry about mold or anything growing inside of here because I can see the entire inside of it. It does recommend in the user manual that you clean this part every about five days and then you do clean the inside of the base about every three days. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna clean this. So in order to clean this, you will, first of all, I wanna make sure that this is off and unplugged. So I'm just gonna take this part off right here and I'm actually gonna dump the water out. And then I'm also gonna dump the water out of the base. So to wash these, you can just use warm water or if there's any type of buildup or just some white scaling or something like that, you can put vinegar in your warm water as well. I just have warm water in here and I'm just gonna take this and just put, get the warm water all the way inside of here and just rinse it out really good. You can use a washcloth if you need to scrub any parts. And then I can do the same thing to the lid. And then for the base in here, you can use your water or your vinegar water, and I would just take a paper towel, you can use a dish rag as well, and you're just gonna kind of get it wet and then wash it with your little cloth. Okay, and then you're gonna make sure your base is nice and dry, and we're gonna dry around this container as well. All right, now it's nice and clean and ready to use the next time. Overall, my favorite part of this humidifier is that you can see clearly when this needs cleaned. You don't need to use any guesswork. You can just see it all right there. And also it's small and nice and quiet.